Hello YouTube, welcome to a new video, this time I'm going to show you how to update your Sony Xperia Z1 smartphone to Android 4.4 KitKat doing this uh, over the air so uh, let's start and go to the app drawer let's go to update center and let's hit a new refresh so as you can see There is a new, it notifies that there is a new Android uh, software update available and uh, right now uh, it will start uh, downloading it and uh, then uh, most probably it will uh, install. My device right now is running Android uh, 4.3 Jelly Bean. I reverted back from KitKat due to all the bugs. Uh, the first uh, time that I uh, updated to KitKat, I used uh, SUS, the PC companion from Sony. And uh, now I'm using uh, the over-the-air method. So let's uh, just wait and see what happens. If you follow my channel in the last uh, couple of days, uh, you know what my uh, impressions and uh, feelings and uh, concerns uh, are regarding uh, 4.4 KitKat. After uh, having the opportunity to test the KitKat update on other devices, non-Sony devices, I discovered that um, some or uh, better put, uh, most of the problems that uh, we had on uh, the Xperia Z1, for example, with the KitKat update, can be found on uh, other devices too. Uh, devices made from uh, companies like uh, Samsung or uh, LG or uh, HTC. What I mean by this is uh, the fact that uh, problems with uh, the overheating and the camera and the SD cards are found or uh, found on uh, those devices too. So it's not something Sony related regarding uh, the KitKat update, but uh, mostly a Google uh, related problem. So uh, hopefully in the coming days, uh, on Monday, Sony will start, start rolling out a new update for uh, the Z1, Z1, uh, <coughs> Compact and uh, the Z Ultra to fix the sound bug. I'm hoping uh, personally to fix all the other bugs, not only the sound bug. Uh, but uh, pretty much, uh, KitKat was a mess. Tomorrow, I will make a new video. Showing you how to downgrade from a KitKat to 4.3 Jelly Bean, which is very good. It's very stable. It's, uh, at least in my case, bug free, totally bug free. With uh, an impressive battery life. Uh, right now, my device is on 4.3. As you can see on the status bar, I have 73% of battery left. And uh, up until now, I have at least uh, 2 hours and uh, 10 minutes of uh, screen on time, so uh, keep in mind uh, that on 4.3 Jelly Bean the battery was very very good. Hopefully this time, because I've read a lot on the internet that other uh, users who updated to 4.4 KitKat had no problems, no issues, no bugs. 
uh, hopefully this time over the air uh, I won't encounter the, the same uh, issues and bugs and uh, so on. You can always check uh, my channel to see what I'm talking about. Um, so uh, keep in mind that uh, it isn't uh, that simple as it uh, always uh, seems. So we downloaded the the update. As you can see, it says ready to install software update. The installation will take approximately seven minutes to complete. The device will not be available for calls, including emergency calls during installation. The device will restart when the installation is finished. Existing user data will be kept. So let's go ahead and click install. And leave the device uh, do its thing. One of the most annoying bugs, uh, but uh, still I'm not sure it's a bug. I think uh, from what I've read it's uh, what Google intends to do. Is the one related to the SD cards. Um, you cannot move apps uh, between uh, your internal memory to your external uh, memory. Uh, in my case, uh, the problem was uh, a lot uh, weird because uh, I couldn't unzip files on my SD card, which on uh, Android 4.3 I can uh, do it very easily. No, uh, no problem in doing that. A lot of strange things that I didn't like and uh, certainly won't like it, but uh, I'm doing this for you guys to see how uh, the update process uh, goes on. And uh, if I'm not uh, satisfied, which I suspect, uh, tomorrow I'll just uh, go back to 4.3 Jelly Bean and uh, also make a how-to video because I know there are a lot of uh, guys out there who really want to, to go back to 4.3 just as I was because they are not satisfied with the update and um, the things that uh, the bad things it brings unfortunately this is the case uh, after more than a week after installing the update and testing it and uh, a lot of headaches. Um, I can honestly say that uh, about 80% of uh, the issues found uh, with this update are not uh, Sony related issues. So um, I quite don't uh, understand why uh, Google releases this kind of uh, software and uh, after all, just uh, gives us uh, some minor uh, software updates to to iron out uh, all the bugs and uh, resolve all the issues instead of uh, releasing one software update and uh, with no uh, major issues. But in this case, there were a lot of major issues. As I said, you can always check my uh, channel for uh, for the videos. Which I uh, which I made about the 4.4 KitKat on the Sony Xperia Z1. It's a pity because this device uh, it's a great device. I really like it. Unfortunately for us uh, Xperia Z1 users, Sony didn't include in this uh, update uh, the features that uh, most probably will become available for for us, but not right now. Only ported to a custom RAM. Uh, features like uh, the tap to wake, uh, 4K video capability, time shift video, um, and so on. The biggest feature that I really wanted to, to, to have on the Z1 is the tap to wake feature because I really like it. I enjoyed it a lot on uh, my, L my former LG G2. Um, it's a great feature. You Simply just tap uh, the screen and uh, 
the screen uh, activates also the 4k video I don't know I don't take uh, that much really that much videos but uh, it's good to have it for fun I don't know to play around to, to see how, how it does though the processor is more capable and this device is more capable in taking 4k videos uh, Sony didn't include it again because uh, the Z2 got launched or uh, will soon be and uh, most probably they they don't want to put these devices one uh, one against uh, the other still if you are really desperate in uh, getting your hands on uh, those features you can always uh, root your device and uh, add on to XDA developers and um, install a custom RAM uh, there are a couple of uh, custom ROMs on uh, the XDA developers page uh, some of which have uh, the 4K capability enabled also lots of tweaks uh, in the audio department um, battery life and so on so as you can see the device uh, finished installed uh, finished to install the, the update and uh, right now this is the new boot up animation Now it will uh, upgrade the apps. So this pretty much does it, my friends. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you like the video, please uh, hit the like button. Share and subscribe to my channel for more content and future videos. Also, please leave your comments in the comment section. And uh, as always, as I say in all my videos, don't hesitate in uh, contacting me with... Uh, any problems that you may face, issues, I don't know, uh, questions, I will be more than happy to answer all of them as soon as possible. Hope to see you in the next video. Until then, as always, be safe, be good. Your friend Gabriel, signing out. Bye.